actually already started, but I don't want to get up. On Monday morning, I go on the class website and check our weekly individual tasks as well as our group assignment for that week. Normally, I complete a lot of my individual tasks during the Zoom meeting on Monday. I would pop out the Zoom meeting so that it's a little window on the corner of my screen and do my individual tasks while I listen to the presentation. On Tuesday, we meet up with our group. We create a doc that we put all of our research in and start writing the rough script for our presentation. This week's group assignment is to discuss improvements and create our own summer co-op program. On Wednesday, we write the good copy of our script. Then we practice our presentation as a group by ourselves to prepare for tomorrow's class presentation and after we practice as a group we talk about improvements that we can make to a presentation or we change the script a little bit so that the wording is better and then we practice some more. On Thursday morning we present our presentation to the class. After the class meeting the teacher will choose two to three groups that will present tomorrow. We ended up being one of the groups that was chosen to present tomorrow. On Friday morning, we have a Zoom meeting with our supervisors. At the end of our presentation, they would talk about things that they liked as well as giving some constructive criticism on what we could improve on for next time. A student of ours who actually created their own final project film, which is part of the program, it actually caught the interest of a major studio within Toronto. That film, that you know, that short seven minute cool little film that this student created ended up getting optioned by the studio to be developed for a, a TV series pilot. And it was very interesting watching that whole process because it, it wasn't just an experience of, you know, the student going, wow, I never would have imagined that would have happened. But then to watch her go through the process, okay, of what does that actually mean? Personally, if I were to grade myself, I would give myself maybe an 80 to 85%. 90.2% is very generous. Throughout the course of co-op, we had to create our own website. Every week, one of our individual tasks is to write a reflection on Monday's guest speaker. Honestly, I feel like my writing is a level 2 plus, maybe 3 minus, just because it's not very specific and it's not good writing quality. For example, if you change out the name and the date and take out maybe one or two sentences from paragraphs, you can copy paste it onto any other week and it would still work. If I were to edit it, I would add specific examples of what she said and make a personal connection to my life so that it's very specific to that week's guest speaker. Lastly, I want to show you guys my favorite presentation. This is the presentation on sprinkles we made for Wattpad. This is my favorite presentation because I really like the aesthetics. The colors are more of my vibe. You were also one of the groups that were chosen to present to Wattpad. Out of all the companies that presented to us during co-op, Wattpad was the only company that I actually knew of before they presented. And I used to read on Wattpad a lot and to be able to listen to them, talk about their career journey and what they do at the company and also be able to present to them was very special to me. If I'm going to be honest, my time during co-op, I did not learn a lot about what it's like to work. It felt a lot, a lot like school rather than a work placement. However, I improved on my public speaking skills because we had a presentation every week and we presented to big companies and professionals from those companies. Yay, co-op. <laughs>